Oh, is the thing on? Shoot. Yes, yes, it is. Well, the YouTube Tampa site here. <clears throat> um, as you can see, we're on the Delphi murders. And once again, I am highly, very disappointed in um, reading the title of this. Because it does not say, of course, convicted. It does not say this is the guy and it does not prove one ounce of evidence. Not one ounce of evidence proving this man is the Delphi murderer. As you can see that Mr. Allen here is going to be moved to another jail. And if you haven't already read this or whatnot, I think it is a complete joke. Um, in March, no, in, yeah, March they were supposed to have a court date. Nothing came out of it. I don't know, I haven't looked in to see when his next court date is, but the only thing right now that's going on in the supposedly BG's life, Mr. Richard Allen, bridge guy, is that he's being moved to another prison. I am very, once again, like I said, disappointed on how this thing, you know, this case went. Very disappointed that a lot of people are went off to say, this is the day. Um, I feel as everybody has been literally fooled, literally let down. You know, I think this is just a complete nonsense um, waste of taxpayers' money. Because just because they found a bullet, and to me, that bullet, I think my thoughts, theories, ideas, um, not the truth. That's all you get here on YouTube channel. Vo channel. Vo <laughs> on YouTube channel, Terra Full site. Channel Full. Man, that sounds good. I just made up a word. You get a lot of good stuff. Channel Full. On channel table site. Hey, yeah, that's nice. Channelful. But in all seriousness, there's just no, you know, the, the bullet being found that could have been swapped out, picked up at his house, and literally all oh, match the bullet or match the gun. Something could have been swapped out and put in place from his how and, and notice and come on people common sense notice how this all came out after Allen's house got shot um shot yeah searched really it's a disturbing matter and let alone disappointing everybody's still waiting everybody's saying this was the day that ends the search but as you can see as we scroll on down he's being moved to another prison for what emergency motion from his defense attorney last week concerns about their clients deteriorating mental and physical state now, you know what? You put a man into jail, and I have experience, sat in jail a year, and even though, right, my case wasn't as serious as this, but even if I was charged for murder, and I knew I didn't do it, but yet my evidence got there somehow, or something of mine, piece of evidence, um... I don't know how I would have handled it with that kind of case, but I know my case was a, you know, it, you know, it had to do with the case being on an assumption. And you can't assume or make an assumption on any case. You have to have the downright filed pure facts. You just can't, we assume he did it because there was a bullet there from his house. That retracted out of a gun. All right. 
that bullet could have got there because they went searching their house and swapped it out with another bullet. Or if the gun was used, they have the gun, right? Or, the, you know, that gun could have been swapped out. But a bullet found laying on the ground, I think it was taken from his house. And right once again, see how it happened after they searched. Then they found the bullet. Or if they had a bullet found... That's right. It was from another gun. They took Alan's bullet, put it in place of that one. I think that's exactly what happened. But like my case, they assumed I did these things. In my case, assumptions. But you cannot assume nothing. You have to have the downright earth plain right out, solid facts. And what they have on this guy is nothing. And of course, his health is going to, mental health is going to deteriorate. Because now he's sitting in a cell that another man, who probably stinks like all up in hell, high heaven. And, you know, a lot of dirty men in jail, um, let alone pff, not just being, you know, say so violent, but dirty. I mean, I'm talking about dirty of nasty farting or that kind of dirty nasty habits and um if this guy is living in a unfit environment from of the outside world that's right if you don't or have never been in jail to know people's nasty habits yeah you're you're gonna deteriorate is right i mean i survived in jail due to the fact that the people that I was in jail with, I met people like that on the street. I met a lot of people, a lot of people, whether, you know, mental issues, you know, um, perverted issues, uh, nasty habit issues. I met them. And, you know, when I get around them, yeah, they drive me nuts. And what I did in jail was brought out my crazy side and to survive. Yeah, I had people up in there telling me, why are you here? You should be a Bridgewater mass. And if anybody don't know what Bridgewater is, besides the Bridgewater Triangle, houses the Bridgewater Asylum. One of the last ones in Massachusetts still standing to this day. And people told me I should be in it. <laughs> In jail, my area, you know, yeah, bad criminals could kick their grandmother off their rocking chair just to steal for drugs and get their high. And they're telling me I belong in Bridgewater. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's, and this guy, I'm sure, has no ounce of what I've spoken of of people in jail. Um, pervert wise, I don't know. I'm not sticking up for that. I don't know that. And I'm not going to throw it on him yet. Because they have not came out with if he was on any child porn or social media looking up kids. That hasn't even came out yet, has it? And if it has, please, someone comment. See, that's another big key. Does this guy have a social media or did they find... Besides a damn bullet, him contacting little girls. It doesn't have to be the Delphi girls. It could be any girl. Just like Anthony Snot, the dirty, fat, little snot he is. That's why I call him Anthony Snot, the dirty little habit. Right? I, You know what? As far as I'm concerned, I have not seen one article written yet. Talking about Alan in pornography, child, you know, interacting with children that he inappropriately wear them. Because all them dirty little people, nasty habits, all came out and everything on file and everything they got caught for let alone getting arrested, was brought up. This one, 
All it's saying is they're going to move to another jail because deteriorating. Where's his files on a computer that show any indication? And if I'm wrong, please comment. Let me know. Did they find this yet? But I know for a fact, all, everything I've, and that was a big key that I didn't mention in other videos. Talking about bullets. Where's the social media of him talking about girls? Talking with girls. So, I'm going to go through this. Uh, it's a mean everything to the court. June 15th for a bail review hearing. It's also been set aside a case of court requirements. Is that it? That's it. All right, let's see now. I'm going to run through this very quickly. Two counts of murder. Allen's arrest was now late in October. Five years after the murder. Uh, girl's order issue Friday. Fall emergency motion from his defense attorney last week. Consequence of clients attorney state. Booking vote in the state. Uh, Good removes. This is what we had there. Consider what the girl is. Telling corrections. Not nothing. Nothing. They believe Allen, who's being held on Westville Correction Facility, was showing signs of physical and mental sprain. Defense. Do do do. Nope. That's wow. He's lost some severe weight, as you can see. Um, James Allen, the mean and reason he lost weight is right due to court 15 minutes. You know, it's been set aside. Yeah, that's it. See how that's it? That's it, folks. That's it. That is it. So, in every article that I've read on this man, there's not one been anything written about what these other. Even Anthony Snots communicating with the Delphi girls. Yes, he too could have been bridge guy, but is not. Is not. Could he have a connection with it? No, I don't think so. With the murderer, no. If he was going to go meet up with these girls, and he said he wasn't, well, that only goes to show one thing. So anyways, that is my concern. That is my take on this. When they, when will they get this um, suspect charged? And let's see what comes out of this. But all in all, folks, I guess I got to get going on. Where is his social media connection to all this? Anthony Snots had that connection, but I think he got cock blocked. And right. There was someone else that they were connected to. And that's what I think happened. And it sure in the hell wasn't this guy. So with that being said, until I see some more pure, solid evidence on this Allen, solid evidence, good evidence, this is not Bridge Guy. I'm sorry. It was not the day when he got caught. And his mental health deteriorating like it is, is living proof. Because he just got taken out of a life, um, and that's that, of well-known not being what he is. No sexual things on him for social media or little girls or anything. So let's see what really happens. Till the next video, be safe, take care, and remember, I think Bridge Guy is still out there. Out.